Hello and welcome. Today I'm thinking about Irish magic and charms and cures and all that good stuff that we have in the folklore collection. So I came across a rather quaint little story that's just called The Charm about uh, Martin O'Flaherty. And I'm going to just read it out to you. I'll share my screen here. Um, this is from, as I said, the school's collection in, on duchas.ie. And it's absolutely worth going and having a look through some of the stuff that's up there. It's really, really fascinating. So what we have here is, as I said, the story for, uh, called The Charm. So I'm Martin O'Flaherty from Drumrua Farm with my pot and pot hooks under my arm. With whiskey and rice, I set my charm. If I don't do good, I won't do harm. So quaint little bit of rhyming uh, dog world there as well. So the story goes, Martin O'Flaherty lived in the parish of Killen Tiernach in County Kerry. He was supposed to have a charm for curing diseases in sheep. Flor, a farmer that lived near Hereford in County Kerry, had a number of sheep that suffered from a disease called the mange. Flor met Martin at the fair in Killarney and he told him about the disease which his sheep had, as he knew that Martin had the reputation of curing such diseases. So Martin promised him that he could cure his, or he would cure his sheep, for that purpose, he told him to take home a quart of the best whiskey, one pound of tobacco and a stone of rice. He also said that he would go to Flora's house early the next morning to cure the sheep. So Flora bought the goods and took them home. Martin arrived at his house early the following day, as promised. He ordered them to put the sheep into an outhouse and to light a fire there. He then told all the family to leave except a simple boy whom he kept to help him. Then he began to set the charm. He put two gallons of new milk into a pot which he hung over the fire. He next added the rice and lastly he added a little of the whiskey. None of the tobacco and not all of the whiskey, just a little. He stirred the contents of the pot with a stick and when the mixture was rather thick he put a little of it on each sheep's back with the end of the stick. While putting it on, he repeated the words over each. I'm Martin from Drumrua Farm, with my pot and pot hooks under my arm. With whiskey and rice, I set my charm. If I don't, and if I don't do good, I won't do harm. He told the boy to drive the sheep out. After setting the charm, he drank some of the whiskey, put the remainder of the whiskey and all of the tobacco into his pockets, and then went home. So we don't actually get the story about whether the sheep were cured but I suppose if this lad was going around the fairs and being hired out of the fairs because effectively that's he got paid in tobacco and, and the rest of the whiskey and um, it does have a little bit more information here it says um, the charm used for curing sheep I got this story from Mr O'Mahony uh, Dundrum in County Dublin so this is actually in Palmerstown in County Dublin where this story was recorded but he was born in County Kerry and spent his youth there. He heard this story when he was living there. So obviously when this uh, Mr. O'Mahony was a boy down in County Kerry, that's when he picked up this story. And um, Martin, uh, Martin O'Flaherty, was it? <laughs> yeah, Martin O'Flaherty uh, would have been well known then around the, um, around the Kerry fairs for curing the sheep. So if it hadn't worked, I'm pretty sure that either we wouldn't be hearing about it or the story would be going a different way. And one of the things I found interesting about this is it kind of echoes some of the practice of another story we have about a witch called Mary Butters. And Mary Butters uh, was quite, quite late on, I think. So, you know, could have been tying up time-wise with some of this folklore that we have still recorded in the, in the Dukas collection. No, wait she in the 1800s I might have my dates wrong there on Mary Butters but um, she also would have come into uh, somebody's house to give a cure I think the the cow wasn't ta the, the milk wasn't turned into butter um, no matter how much they churned and they reckoned that somebody had uh, overlooked it or given it the evil eye or given them the evil eye or something and Mary Butters was brought in. Now that story didn't end well but the similarities are there in that there's a pot over the fire and she puts sulfur and stuff into it and it, it unfortunately led to the um, 
the suffocating and, and dying of people who were in the house with her while the lads were out in the barn with the cow or cows. So the pot over the fire, putting stuff in, stirring, possibly saying the charm um, and a big stick as well um, was involved. So similar enough practices that are going on just with um, different details and, you know, hopefully a, a bit of a better ending anyway. But um, I will continue my track through the old folklore and looking at it from um, what I'm what I'm looking to do is put together modern magical practices, really. And, and that's kind of my life's work and what I always do. So um, both uh, religious and magical practices or spiritual rather and magical practices that would be authentically in line with our native traditions that we have here so that's what we do on this channel that's what we do over the Irish pagan school I work with multiple other native teachers who are doing the same thing so if it is your first time um, make sure and go and check out all the resources in the notes below the video and like this video if you like more of it um, I haven't been doing folklore videos for a while so definitely let me know um, in the comments and let YouTube know as well in the algorithm by liking, subscribing, hitting the bell for notifications um, and let me know if you want more uh, more folklore videos like this again okay so it's long full and I will see you in the next video.